College of Engineering. Actually, it is an institute. And Mr. Mani Matan, Mani, Mani Matan, the true leader of this institute, because every institute thrives on a good leader. And you are all very fortunate to have a good leader. I extend the regards to my friends from the dais and all of you, my friends. I am going to be very brief in what I say because we will get into some details during my presentation. I would like to highlight only the three points which I think are the need of the hour. First is the textile industry as a whole. Second is the role of institutions. Third is the role of the students. My friends, I really congratulate you all for being part of the textile industry. It directly affects the lives of 63 million Indians associated with textiles and cotton agriculture. Textiles is the pulse of India. Our Indian economy is directly related to textiles because it is the highest employer after agriculture and agriculture is directly related to textiles. It is the second largest foreign exchange earner for our country. And cotton is the heart of the country. If cotton fails in our country, our heart stops. If cotton excels in the country, the heart beats at a very normal pace. Why? You will see later. So again, be proud to be associated with textile, all of you. The role of the institution, my point number two. I would like to ask the chairman, sir, if you have a daughter, do you have a daughter? Very good. I have one, I love her. If you have a daughter, before getting her married, what would you like her to learn? But before you got her married, when you were looking out for a room, what would you like, you know, your daughter to know? To learn. Right. Like, just share one or two things that you would like her to know. Cooking is a very important aspect, yes. Adjustment. She has to adjust with the family. You never know she'll get married in a nuclear family or a joint family. Anybody who has a daughter can share. Adaption. She has to adapt to any circumstances in the house and to a very secluded, protected atmosphere. When you go to an in-laws house, you never know what people are saying there. Perfect. Stitching time saves lives. Stitching. Women are expected to know stitching. So the daughter, if she has learned in her parents' place, it will help her. Yeah, stitching time saves mine. Our ISO trainer, when we went for our ISO in 2005, in cotton valuation, um, I just told him I want to get ISO valuation for cotton valuation. He looked through all the references, the ISO auditor, and he said there is no difference. Nobody else in the world has taken valuation, uh, ISO certification of valuation. So you better train yourself. We will also get into the details of what we can audit you for in valuation. And then I went to a trainer and I sat in front of him. He asked me, what do you think is ISO? I said, sir, it is systems and uh, uh, the implication of systems on your company and uh, execution. He said, fine, that is all there in the books. What is ISO? I did not have a clear answer. He said, ISO, to understand, you have to look at your house. Look at your mother, your wife.
wife, your sister. It is 8 p.m. in the night. You come home after office and you tell your wife or your mother or your daughter or sister that I am expecting five guests for dinner at 9 p.m. There is no way that they will say no. They cannot come. What? What do the ladies say? They go, I don't know, let them come. Let us see what we can do. And then her mind acts on multiple aspects. What is there in the house? At 8 pm she cannot go out in the market and buy. At 8 pm no grocery store would come and deliver. So what is there in the house? What is there in the fridge? And what would be the general taste of those guests who are coming? So she would make a load arrangements, cook on two gases at a time, chop, wash everything and by 9 pm by a cook or by cook, your dinner is served. No excuses, no complaints, no sorry. That is what is ISO. Your customer is your God. Your consumer is your God. If you are employed, your employer is your God. No excuses, no complaints. If you have complaints, better leave that place. When you are in there, no excuses, not even in the institute that you are. In India is over by 25 max to max. That is an average year in India for education is 22. After that, very few people like our guest of honor, the chief guest, get educated. And then, throughout the rest of your life, you have to rely on those five, seven.